guys, it's trashy here. Um, so it's trashy in the morning. And I just wanted to post it on my YouTube. Let's uh, play the 911 call that resulted in that interaction. So that's the call on why the police show up uh, to see Trashy and uh, hopefully you heard that, but uh, that's the call to, that brought the police um, out there. And then, sorry. When we were... Sorry, when they were there, I apologize. I was not there. I had already gone home for the evening. Um, they also, um, let's do this. So what you're seeing now is Trashy's channel, and they were able to look into the police car. I think that SRA captured this, and then we all got screenshots of it from the video. Um, this was the call out uh, for the CPD. Now, if we think about that, I, I'm going to say it's 100% madness. You're, you're absolutely correct, uh, correct Luffer. If this was in fact a serious event, why don't we see lights coming at us? Why don't we see, if the, if the police believed any part of this, why in the world um, do, do, we, um, do we not see the police coming in full force if this is a bomb threat or if they have any belief that it's a bomb threat? So uh, something else I'm gonna say is that, hey, we're, we're nearing the end of the shift so this is a time, um, yeah, I won't be able to tell you much about what this means. On, on the bottom, I don't know if those are the questions that are supposed to be asked by the dispatcher or not, but you can tell that the top one is precisely what we heard on the audio um, uh, in there. But the police did not come guns a-blazing. They did not have the lights on. Um, they just walked in that my presumption is that Scientology had a lot of members in the organization uh, inside the building uh, they knew that we were out we sorry they knew that trashy and uh, SRA were still outside and they were going to confront everybody that came out um, so they called the police and that allowed their people to leave the back while trashy and SRA were involved with the uh, with the police so um, let me I'm gonna Email Trashy real quick to see if, if he's available. Okay. Um, I don't know how to share lives, but I'm, I'm going to see if I can uh, bring him on right now. See if I can figure out how to send a link uh, out of this. Invite, copy, uh, reply, send that over there to Trashy. Now, what'll be terrible is when he uh, responds to the uh, with the invite. I won't be able to ring him in. Um, and by the way, Sean, I just read the. Um, your comment on this. Um, I do, if, if we can reach out, you know, again, any information is helpful because 
sometimes we feel a little bit foolish as never ends and it's it's always good to have some guidance or understanding of, of what's the best way to approach some of these people and understand um, what they're going through so sorry about that trashy may show up we'll see if that happens this was uh, the commentary that we saw for or the uh, the display that we saw in the squad car very similar to how in LA uh, they started taking pictures of all of those uh, all the time and then uh, the next one I want to show is this is just tragic uh, you know, I, I hate when cops act like this um, so the police have been inside the building um, for, uh, th they've probably been inside the building for 15 minutes uh, at this point. Um, Trashy and SRA are noticing that the Scientology members are kind of grouping together and moving towards the back door, again, giving us the impression that um, the police were called in so that they could uh, get the people out of the building without them having to walk past us and, and, and listen to the questions in, in that regard. Um, so now the police have come out of the car. The officer that you see on the right uh, with the, the jacket and not really in full uniform, um, he was very cordial. When he showed up, you know, uh, he uh, responded with name and badge number. Um, the two guys, uh, Trashy and SRA, said, hey, the first guy went in and didn't give us any information. And they said, oh, it's an emergency. So they had to. I was like, okay, fine. It was an emergency. He went in. So now they've come out and uh, they're going to address Trashy and uh, SRA. Now it's odd. Rather than pull everybody together, one of the, the, the person on the right is going to talk to um, uh, SRA, and he's going to be extremely reasonable, extremely calm the whole time. Um, everything's going to be fine. The one on the left is the one that, uh, you know, uh, trashy drew the, the short straw. So let's listen to this. It's it's about a one minute clip. I'm Sergeant Taylor, star number 2191. 2191, thank you no, very much. Thank listen, you. Okay. Yeah. listen to what he's saying. I can't hear him, sir. Right. Okay. So you can't, what he's saying is you can't be following people. You can't get in their face because listen to what I'm saying. Let me finish. You can't get in their face. Make sure it's on to yes, 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 yes. okay. I, I just want to pause right here that this is a cop who likes to assert authority. Point blank. He's an, an, ego, uh, an egotistical person that wants to assert that I'm in control here um, because, hey, listen, listen to what I'm saying. And he, the, Trashy is just trying to engage. Hey, Trash, I'm going to, Trashy's here. Hey, Trash, can you hear me? How's it going? Can you, can you hear me? Yep. Excellent. How are you doing? Um, so, so far, we've listened to the recording that you were sent this morning, um, and the uh, we saw the screenshot of that. And this is now uh, the officer who's coming out to cops explain to you. And he's gone through the first part where he's just told you, listen, listen to what I'm saying. Because you would ask him a question. Um, you know, you would ask him something like a question. And he just wanted to assert his authority saying, hey, I'm in control here. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. He, like, he, he didn't want to, like, cite the law to us. Uh, yeah, he, he totally just was disrespectful. Not professional. I 100% agree. Now, I, I, it's going to get worse from this point because at this point, all he's done, it, it's very early in the engagement. Uh, let, me, let me go back a little bit and let you hear because it it's it's only 20 seconds. So, I'm Sergeant Taylor, star number 2191. 2191, thank you uh, very much. Thank listen, you. Okay, yeah. listen to what he's saying. I can't hear him. Right. Okay. So, you can't, what he's saying is you can't be following people. You can't get in their face because I'm, listen to what I'm saying. Let me finish. You can't get in their face. Make sure it's on to this yes, video. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. You can't get in their face because they can, they can, they can interpret it as they're being assaulted and you can get arrested for it. Without even touching them. Correct. Yes, can, Correct. Can, can you cite, Stop. can you cite me the statute? I'm not citing you the statute. You'll find out the statute if you get locked up. <laughs> that's, that's not a very professional way to go about well, things. That's, the, that's as, as professional as I'm going to get. 
Wow, that's pretty rude. I explain to you what truth. you can do and what it's not. It's the truth and the fact. Okay, it's, it's a tr it's it's the truth Thanks. that you that no, you won't look up the statue I'm for me. It's not semantics, sir. It's it's. So because it's, I can only do a one minute clip, yeah, I'm gonna say, a you did awesome there. The the idea that you you held your cool very well, but how are you feeling when that when this is going down? I was honestly mainly just frustrated. I just. I, I really wanted to see a statute like I'm totally open to changing my view on things, blurring more information and the cop wouldn't provide me any more information. Uh, I, I'm sure he definitely could have if he wanted to. So uh, it just seems like he didn't care um, or and or he knew that he was making something up. I don't know which one it was, but. Yeah, and, and uh, my. My first reaction is he, he's a cop that likes to show authority. He needs to be the one that's that's in charge here. Um, I'm going to say that uh, I wasn't there. You guys were there. Um, mm -hmm. One of the things that I always see out there is that if you want to arrest me, arrest me. If you don't, I don't want to hear it because I don't want to hear your cops. I don't want to hear you being a lap dog for whomever is sending you out here saying we've got this, this issue. And again, it's it's so easy to say this as an armchair quarterback uh, in that process, but he knew that he had nothing on you. He just wanted to assert authority. Yep, yeah, so, very true. Um, what, so I felt like uh, from this point forward, you know, the night kind of wound down, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, it, it definitely wound down after that. It seemed like they, uh, it seemed like the people inside uh, kind of talked together or, or, or like maybe went off somewhere to talk together for a while because everybody kind of disappeared for a while and then they came back. Um, I, we never saw them talking, but uh, it's it, it was weird that everyone disappeared and then kind of came back to their normal places. And then uh, we left for the night. Yeah. So um, before you came on, I, I kind of put a hypothesis out there, and, and I think you guys had mentioned this last night as well, that this felt like it was a tactic to draw the attention of the two of you away so that the people that were in the org could leave either via the back door or the front door because we're, you're going to be involved with the, with the police um, so that they don't have to confront us questioning them. They don't have to have their camera or their faces on camera and stuff like that. Yeah, uh, when when the police first showed up, uh, I saw people leaving out the back door, so it was it was convenient timing. Yeah, yeah, and and that Snapchat is just um, one of the things that I'll I'll say is that, and you hear this oftentimes, uh, reasonable articulable suspicion cannot be given uh, credibly by an anonymous party, and I'm pretty comfortable that if we're saying Snapchat said this it would probably be easy to, I'm not a lawyer, I don't know any lawyers, it would probably be able to equate this to anonymous. So the idea that, you know, there's there's no way they could have done anything on you guys yeah. um, in this process. So um, what are the next steps? I, 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 I see your email, but they did, and nobody else saw your email. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can explain. Oh. Um, so what we want to do is we're, we're gonna go to COPA uh, and file a complaint. Now, in Chicago, there's a civilian, COPA is the civilian something, Office of Police Affairs, uh, something of, of that nature. But um, so it's not part of the police department, it's a civilian department. You basically start complaints there. Um, now, uh, Free Xeno Project has done the same thing recently, and eventually on, to, on Commander Harris on the opening day, uh, that eventually went back to internal affairs uh, on this process. So there's a very good possible. We might as well file two. All right. We might as well go to the CPD as well and say, hey, I'd like to file a complaint. Mm -hmm. um, just the same on, on that process. Um, yep. Now, some of the things that I think would be important, A, I like that we have the video evidence. We've got now we've got the radio call and the screenshot of what occurred there. Um, the idea that uh, did the police think this was credible or not think it was credible? Because they did not come in guns a blazing, right? Um, yeah, I, yeah I, they didn't have their hands on any guns, and I mean, like they did kind of stop to talk to us, but they did seem in a rush, right? 
Um, and I'm that my my biggest fear is that this kind of escalated false reporting is going to get somebody hurt. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. the I, I don't want to be the one that said, uh, I told you one of us was going to die. Right. I, I, I want the police to be a little bit smarter than this beforehand to say, listen, you need to have a little bit better research in regards to what's going on here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah I, they at least notify them of the may, maybe the other things that we've seen uh, the church use and stuff like that. Uh, also, uh, I don't think you mentioned it. We'd also like to request the body camera footage from that night to see uh, how that uh, threat turned into uh, lecturing us on laws that they would not cite us. Yeah. That was good. Uh, and Nance just mentioned in here um, that she's going to CAPS. Nance, what is um, CAPS? Um, and by the way, if we can, in my interviewing process, somehow get me not to say um as much, I'd really appreciate it. The, is this going to stop you? Uh, how do you, uh, like, what, uh, going forward, what changes in behavior will we have? I mean, I've, I've been trying to be respectful the entire time. Uh, like, I'll always keep it in the back of my head that I shouldn't be in people's faces, which I do try to. Um, but yeah, I mean, unless unless they can give me like a better explanation of that or a statute, at least to look up on that. Uh, I, I don't think there's much I would change right now. Um, besides looking into maybe the police uh, and Scientology connection relationship more. Yeah, I do have a COPA or a FOIA out on, uh, so it's a FOIA to get the body cam. I have a FOIA out on uh, the the date and time of all the calls to this address since March 4th, because I know that March 3rd being the opening day, it's just going to be a shit show. But yeah. um, I, I do want to get a listing of that. Um, one of the things that I will tell you is that you are incredibly respectful. You never quickly approach people, even though you've got a skateboard, which gives you some speed in, in regards to that. Um, you never uh, approach people in, at such a speed that they should have any fear of what's going on in, in that space. Mm -hmm. And you don't, uh, I've never seen you raise your voice or, or yell, you know, that, that we know that there's certain press protesters that, you know, their, their forte is different than kind of the way that you and I react to some of these people. Yeah. Um, oh, thanks, Sean. Yep. Uh, for FOIA, it's the Freedom of Information Act, um, which allows us to um, ask for official papers uh, and so on and so forth when we do that. Thank you, Sean Skin. Uh, cool. Have, have you ever done, well, I, have you ever had to do a, p a police complaint or a FOIA request? Uh, I have done a FOIA, or FOIA request, but I have not done a police complaint. Okay. How long, uh, what was the duration of the FOIA? Did you, did they return or reply to your uh, FOIA request? They did. It, it, it was some relatively simple information. Uh, it, it took, I think it took like 12 days. Okay. That makes sense. Sorry. Apparently my puppy is very upset uh, in the background. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can pick that up a speaker. Yeah. So I'm uh, that my, I think my FOIA requests are like three days old right now. And my understanding is that it's got to be within, within a certain number of days that they have to respond um, mm -hmm. to, to yeah. those. So cool. Um, yeah, I'm more than happy to, uh, well, you're going to go up near your, uh, you're going to try and find a, a Copa location near you. Uh, I might just go to the city. I don't really know. Uh, but yeah, I'd, I might just look for a Copa location near me too. Yeah. No problem. What I think I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go into the first district, which I know that the first district is probably going to turn me away only because, you know, Captain uh, or Commander Harris uh, um, oftentimes um, is, uh, well, he runs that. I don't know if he, so Frizino had a terrible experience. He called the police first and he wanted to file a complaint. They said, yep, you've called the right people. Here's what happened, blah, 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 blah. Okay, who who was the person you want to complain against? And he said, Commander Harris. He goes, oh, we can't handle that here. 
Hmm. You'll have to call the DA. So they call the DA. What's the complaint? Uh, this person was very assertive. He did this. He did this. He did this. Oh, excellent. Yeah, that we can we can absolutely do that. Uh, who is the target of your complaint? Commander Harris. Oh, we can't handle that. So this guy's got clout, you know, in in regards to to that. Now Copa did take the call, and Copa was very interested in taking the call. Um, but eventually, Copa has to turn it over to Internal Affairs, and I'm sure that we're going to get the historical. Uh, we've investigated it, and there's no wrongdoing here. Yes, Commander Harris is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I was not aware of uh, how powerful C Commander Harris was and or if he has any connection to the church. I mean, yeah. I haven't looked into that at all, so that would be interesting to look into. Yeah, and I don't know, um, again, I, I, I don't think it's the same relationship that, uh, oh, uh, Tim Tallman in yes. L.A., uh, right? Um, mm -hmm. But... And, and I'm going to I'm going to make another hasty generalization, which I think is is true, um, that in L.A., it seems like the Hollywood department is in cahoots with Scientology um, in Chicago. It tends to be that individual police. Fall into corrupt activities. It's not as systematic in that space. Now, I will say this. If Commander Harris is receiving any benefit from the Church of Scientology, he's in a high enough position that that's going to flow downhill and he will be able to assert his authority to, to other people. Um, but I'm not really ready to say that it's as bad as, you know, I don't think we're going to see a Scientology kiosk in the district one headquarters yeah. uh, at, the, at this point. So, um, cool. uh, anything else that, that, uh, you'd like to say right now? Um, hmm. I don't know. It's like uh, I also plan on showing the police like my other footage. I'm going to clip out today uh, some of the other footage of the Scientologists who have, you know, put their hands on me or hit me with their umbrella. Uh, so I, I think that would be good to show them and and then provide them with my information as well so they can see uh, what I do and, you know, yeah. get, an, get an understanding at least. I, I definitely think that's fair. And and I, I commented the night that I saw the umbrella um, incident was in any reasonable person would pass that off. We, we don't really care. But I would say that with how petty Scientology is in involving the law on these insignificant elements and false elements of, of trespass, I really think that we have to show them that here's what happens when you involve the police in every tiny little tit tat matter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess that that would have to, you'd have to then file another, you'd actually, that'd be a, not a complaint, uh, not a police complaint, uh, complaint against a person. Right. Yeah. Cool. Um, just quick. Do you, can you see the chat? Um, I, I'm, I'm new to this as well. Yes. Man, yes. <laughs> okay. Um, and I just wanted to ask, uh, while we've got Trashy on here, any questions that anybody out there have for Trashy? And, and while we're waiting for that, um, I I really enjoy, like I said, I like being out there when you're out there. I think that you approach people very well. Um, you you get people to respond. You know, the, the number of publics that you've gotten to respond is is really amazing. So, um, yeah. Good. Yeah, I do like talking to everybody out there and just kind of seeing what their opinion is on the whole thing. So, yeah. And I don't think that you, you do not come from a, your church sucks, prove me wrong. You really come from a very open-ended invitation to yeah. ask mm -hmm. them to inform you of anything, right? To tell me what I don't know uh, on these, on these processes. Um, and I, I do like that, uh, an awful lot. And I, I do think you have a, um, a passive demeanor, um, in regards to this. And, and again, I like that there's bulldogs out there that are, are yelling and ranting and raving, but, um, that's, that's just not my style. So I, I definitely, I, I feel, I, I enjoy being out there with you quite a bit. So, yes, I, I would say the same for you too. I feel like you have a very passive manner and, and, and you're honestly just there to capture, uh, what goes on, you know? Right. Let's see if we can. So uh, let me see if I can bring that up again. Um, 
No. Put the yeah, U. So on the screenshot on the bottom half. I'm gonna yeah. see if I can get back over there. Commander Harris makes one hundred eighty-six thousand dollars a year without benefits and OT. Yeah, I think I've heard ranging salaries, but yeah, that sounds close. Oops, I'm going to add that to the stage. I'm going to take. So, I don't know if you can see this very well, but you probably have a local copy as well. In the bottom half. Okay, what is? Where is it right now? Question mark. And then there's a U in parens. Oh, uh, you know what? Is that unanswered? Yeah. Because I'm, I'm wondering if this is the script that the the dispatcher went through when the 911, what, whenever the call came in. Yeah, I would bet that is unanswered. Yes. Yeah, I think this is just probably a, a list of questions that uh, they get for like a certain type of call. They, they probably probably have spreadsheets of different questions that they want to uh, fill in the blanks for. Yeah. Um, and uh, I, I want to put another call out that um, uh, severe reality adjustment. I love he is a clip monster. I <laughs> I love the the clips that he's been putting out. You know, early on I saw that he had a lot of uh, stuff off of your channel, but I think you know he now he's got enough content that he's able to to show quite a bit there as mm -hmm. as well. Um, yeah. And again, this is just um, it's it's just showing more of that, um, uh, we're making more people aware. So we're broadening the, the stage, right? Mm -hmm. um, something that I've said in many of my uh, chats before, um, I'm not looking to get the biggest piece of the pie as the protesters have it today. I want the protest pie to continually grow. And I, I want us all to, to have that space uh, in there, so. Yeah, I totally agree, yeah. I. I, I honestly just want to see people reporting on this. Like, um, I, I think I think somebody should be trying to make like a, a small documentary or something on the whole movement. But um, I mean, yeah, there, there's not a lot of news, actual news sources covering it, but it is it is growing. So it's interesting. And, I, and what I also find is interesting is that the church really doesn't make any comments on on the whole protesting movement either because you, you can see there is a, a protesting movement in all the cities that have had orgs open there's protests and uh you, you don't see scientology commenting on that at all agree that that it's usually a proxy right the the idea of uh quelly quasa the the he was on stage the night of he'll defend the church or some of the other um ministers around the organization around the area will defend it um but uh but the church itself you're right they won't stand up in their own defense but that, that might go back to lrh you know always <laughs> attack never defend that might that might um i tell you we've got i don't know if you how much time you have but we just got raided by mexican long hairs um <laughs> channel do you there mind you know. if i replay the video uh yeah no that's so totally fine okay so here we're seeing the screenshot of um, the uh, the call that came into Chicago last night. What was this? Nine twenty, nine forty. It was like nine ten. About. Okay. Um, so this is the call, uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and. So what's occurred now is you just saw that call, right? That the there's uh, a person with weapons, uh, a bomb. He's disgruntled because Scientologist killed his brother. Um, and the, the police arrive. They go inside. How long were they inside for? They were not inside for very long. They were probably in there 10, 15 minutes at most. Okay. Um, and what we're now catching is these, there's two officers here, and I apologize for the people that were in the in the chat already. Um, the officer on the right 
very level-headed. He talked with us when he came, uh, with, when I, I apologize, I can't use the word us. He talked with Trashy and SRA when he came in to the scene. Um, we, uh, they conveyed their concerns with the other officer. So he's gonna come out and he's gonna talk to SRA. And I thought that was a very rational conversation. Everything sounded great. Tone, volume, everything was fine. And then Trashy drew the short straw and we're gonna see the engagement with the officer that comes and talks to him. I'm Sergeant Taylor, star number 2191. 2191, thank you very much. Listen, thank you. okay, yeah. listen to what he's saying. I can't hear him. Right, okay, so you can't, what he's saying is you can't be following people, you can't get in their face, because I'm, listen to what I'm saying, let me finish. You can't get in their face, make sure it's on this, this yes, video yes, yes, yes. Okay, you can't get in their face because they can, they can, they can interpret it as they're being assaulted and you can get arrested for it. Without even touching them? Correct. Yes, can, Correct. Can, can, you cite the, can you cite me the statute? I'm not citing you the statute. You'll find out the statute if you get locked up. <laughs> that's that's not a very professional way to go about well, things, that's, sir. That's as, as professional as I'm gonna get. Wow, that's pretty rude. Trying to explain to you what truth. you can do and what it's not. It's the truth and the fact. Okay. It's, it's, a tr it's, it's the truth that, that you that, that you well, won't I'm look up the saying, statute I'm for me? It's not semantics, sir. It's it's. I'm Sergeant Taylor, star number two one nine one. Okay, so again, you know, every time I read that or listen to that, it's again the the um, the arrogance of this officer that has to present his power is is ridiculous. Yeah. So. Um, I replayed that mostly for all of the people that just came over from MLH. And thank you so much for coming over from MLH. Appreciate it. Max and long hair. Um, that, and any questions for, uh, for Trashy uh, while we've got him on the, on the chat? Uh, just to let you know, we, we do plan on uh, lodging some complaints, both with CPD and COPA. Uh, and Nance uh, has uh, some ideas that we can use uh, for CAP, uh, which is uh, another uh, place where the police listen to civilian complaints um, in this space. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to complain with you on that one, Southern Yankee. I appreciate that. And 100%, uh, I said this before, just to remind the people that have come in, uh, your calmness in this whole interaction, awesome, right? It's it's like watching um, Jay out in Denver. That the police have him in handcuffs, and people are walking by and says, "Don't go in, it's a cult." And he's much more concerned about these people that are going by than he is about what's really happening uh, to him. So, um, oh, <laughs> I do. Uh, this is funny. I do have another video. I do. I do have another clip. Do you remember this? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I, my, my elbow was feeling it a little bit, but no, I don't have any bruises. I'm good. That's excellent. That was, it was, what was odd is I've, I've seen you for quite some time um, skateboarding and this idea that it had it not been the hidden, uh, uh, the hidden obstruction underneath the cone. Yeah. Like, There's no way this happens. Yeah. The, it was, the, the cone was bolted to the ground. <laughs> yeah. All right, let me see. Uh, so this is Trashy showing us his skills. <laughs> Bro, that was the funniest thing I think I've ever done. Come on, please, that. I, I love the first response too. The nice swirl right there, nice. Yeah. Oh wait! Oh, you were talking about the documentary. We need to get a lot of this video um, video to Kelly Copter to see if she can help um, with creating a, a good timeline here. Yeah. Um, the other one uh, on Nance's channel this morning, somebody did a um, sounding like a professional voiceover of one of the police interactions that was happening out in, in LA when Danny was getting swatted and kind of narrating the idea of, oh, now they've got him doing this, but it was such a, it was a, a Morgan Freeman type voice uh, overall. Mm -hmm. So that was awesome. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't think we got much else uh, to chat about here. 
Um, if anybody in the chat has anything that, uh, again, they want to ask uh, Trashy, uh, myself, um, again, we're, we're just people that are out there trying to capture uh, the events. Um, we, uh, I, I personally don't feel that I'm going to get a legacy member out of Scientology, but I want to do whatever I can to make sure that no new members are entering Scientology. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just making the public aware, yeah. Here's Nance. So Nance is a, a local here. Um, awful. Uh, Nance has a good history in protest um, and history there. And then uh, Trashy, uh, Trashy V12 BMW, which, by the way, I did a search for that earlier. And if you don't put the at symbol in there, there's a lot of people that have Trashy V12 BMWs, it seems. Mm. I was getting an awful lot of... Um, people with their BMW cars uh, on there uh, and you didn't even show up on the first screen. Interesting. So, <laughs> that was a uh, very cool. Um, wait, we do have a question. Oh, and, and I agree with this. I don't know that we've been saying this. I know that we, we do say this to the blue star people, right? We we've asked the blue star people if they feel good about this. Yeah. So I, I started a, a list of questions for the, to ask uh, people coming in or out of Scientology or the Scientology building. And uh, that, that might be a good list to start. And that was the uh, list of questions for the police. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, and the there's um, SRA has a good clip of this cop. The, the one that kind of says, well, we don't know what goes on inside of there. All we know is what we got called out for. Right? Mm -hmm. And that idea that, I would love to educate you because as a person who's supposed to be protecting us, right. And, 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 um, enforcing the law, you're standing behind an organization that has a long record of, uh, violating those laws. Yeah. Um, now I still think that, you know, even though, uh, most of our police encounters have been good. This is I, I this is the worst that I've seen out of all of us. I, I, opening yeah. day was ridiculous. But if I take opening day out of the out of the situation, I think this was the worst reaction we had. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, I'm guessing that this was uh, probably the streets department that had done the work and they put they probably put the cone there so that people wouldn't uh, actually hit the bare metal piece uh, that was underneath there. Yeah, it, it was probably honestly there yet yeah, to protect me, but <laughs> it, it was kind of saying, don't hit this. Yeah, don't go here. <laughs> <laughs> and, and maybe not everybody got that message. <laughs> cool. All right. Um, let's, I really appreciate having you on here. It, it was fun chatting with you. Um, if you do need help up there, that's great. I am going to head down to um, the uh, District 1 just to file a complaint on um, the sergeant that came by last night. So All right. Sounds at this good. Point, uh, oh, go ahead. Oh, no, that, that oh. was it. Yeah, at this point, uh, remember, like and subscribe all these channels. We're trying, all of us are still trying to grow our hours. Uh, we saw Mexican Long here in here, uh, Trashy BMW, V12 BMW. Uh, SRA is at severe reality adjustment. Um, and uh, Shannon, Chicago Scientology audits, uh, Shannon H.120, I think. So um, I think that's all I've got. So if you can like and subscribe, greatly appreciate it. And I will probably be out there this afternoon. So sounds good. Take care. Thanks for joining us. See you guys. Bye bye.